that winner three month supply and I'm going to be picking three more winners to win a three month supply. So hang around for that when I announce. Um, all right. So I'm just going to get started. Comment any questions as we're going. Um, and yeah. All right. Are you guys ready? Comment. Let me know that you're ready. Oh, Kayla, Tara, Elizabeth. I see some of your comments. I just want to be sure that this is working and we are good to go. And some of you are saying that it's your rest day. Yeah, same here. Actually, you know what? I think I'm, it's not going to be my rest day. I'm going to go do some cardio because I wanted to yesterday. Okay. All right. Now you guys are seeing me. Okay, cool. Yesterday I wanted to do some cardio and core, but bad night with Aurora's sleep. So going to switch that to this morning. Okay. All right. You guys are ready. So here is the fridge. Here's just like a overview. Um, Rigatoni, do you want to come say hi? Come here. Rigatoni is very interested in what's going on. <laughs> All right. So I'll start from the top. So I normally don't put bananas in the fridge, but actually you can. Um, they will turn brown a bit quicker, but they'll actually stay fresh for longer. But I just put them in here just for the video. <laughs> um, and then melon. So these are definitely some staples that, you know, we have, you know, every single week. Um, and then we have some salsa and dip. This is something like I would say the dip is something that I didn't have a lot when I used to do these in Italy. I remember people would be like, where are all the sauces? And like, where are all the like condiments and things like that? And ciao. <laughs> and we really didn't used to use them. And I'm going to be completely honest and tell you guys why. So back when I was living in Italy, we were really, really focused on like clean eating. So like nothing packaged, processed, things like that. But as I have evolved and learned more, I've realized that like those things in moderation, of course, are not bad. And they like add so much flavor to your meals. So as long as you are being mindful of the macros that they do have, they're not bad for you. They're even if it's not like that word clean is kind of like, you know, not it <laughs> anymore these days because of that, because it gives food a negative, you know, kind of context where it's totally fine to eat Greek yogurt dip <laughs> and things like that. So I have a bunch of other um, condiments that I'll go over here too. So, all right. If I ever, if you guys ever can't see anything and you want to see something up close, um, let me know. Oh, my fridge is going to be beeping at me <laughs> for leaving the door open. Yes, I remember the no cheese, Anna. I know. Like what? I definitely have cheese actually is right there in the middle, a full stack of it. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if you can see over here, Greek yogurt. This is like one of my main staples that I have like, I would say two of these every single day. Another little like tidbit of how I've changed my eating is... Overall, I have increased, ha I'm trying to not be in a deficit for such a long period of time, right? Like I've talked a bit about this on Instagram um, and not an extreme deficit, which I was never in a consistent extreme deficit, but there were some periods. And I remember I would only eat one of these for a snack, which is like 120 calories. That's not a lot. And now I will have two of these plus Greek yogurt and it's almost like a 500 calorie snack. And so yeah, something that has, I would say, improved in my way of eating is just like taking the same snacks that I used to love and like increasing the quantity to be sure that I'm getting all that I need. I miss your YouTube so much. Oh my gosh, Talia or Talia, thank you. You're so sweet. So Greek yogurts, my fridge is always stocked full of these. And with the one that has like the strawberry puree, this is something that like I used to not eat either because it was like processed. And again, if you're just joining, like there's nothing wrong with having bits of things that, you know, could be considered processed in moderation that add so much flavor and yumminess and enjoyment to your meals. So this is something that I eat now and I love and is still good for you. So 
Um, we have one that is 5%. This is for Aurora. I'm going to point out some things here that are specifically for Aurora. Um, I will also eat the 5%. You guys, I'm going to need to learn how to disable that little ringer. Um, I will also eat the 5%. It's just that the strawberry ones with the puree only come in 2%. And I want 5%. I want more full fat, but they don't have it. So yeah, so this one's for Aurora. Oh, I deleted my Instagram and you're one of the people I miss seeing. Oh, hi, Alma. You're so sweet. Love it. I'll have to try it. Yeah, it's so, so good. All right. Then back here, this is Lucas. He eats the Chobani. It's non-fat. For his fats, like his macros, Luca does have less fats like percentage-wise compared to me. For women, fats are really important. I mean, they're important for everyone, but in particular for women, for hormones and things like that, you don't want to eat really low fat. So this is Luca's. That's the only reason Chobani's fine. If they had full fat, I would eat it. It's just that this one is no fat. All right. Then this is <laughs> just some leftover pumpkin puree from when I made that pumpkin spice smoothie with Vita Lura the other day. This is just left over from that. So hi, Sabrina. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to go on to the second row. And if there's any questions that you guys have, feel free to comment them. Okay. Um, this is Chipotle. <laughs> so I, I was going through the fridge and I definitely organized it, you guys, for this and cleaned it up. And um, I was like, oh, Chipotle, like, no, I need to leave that in there because this is real life, right? Like, you know, eating out sometimes. This is from last night, Luca and I wanted to order something for like, you know, our one non-home cooked meal a week, one or two. And um, we did want to eat something that like was kind of middle ground, right? Like that would still allow us to um, hit our protein and this and that. So we got Chipotle and this is Luca's leftover. So, um, all right, I'll put that right up top. Um, down here, we have all the fruits. Well, not all of them, but we have strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. So those are, I don't want to say primarily for Aurora because obviously we eat them too, but like that is one of her main, not main snacks, but like she eats it every single day. So we are always stocked up for her <laughs> going to order Chipotle after this live. Yes. I always just get double protein because even where else at like sweet green, when I order, they give you like one little scoop of chicken. And I'm like, that's not enough. <laughs> I need like almost triple, but I, I normally just do double. Um, yeah. Has your viewpoint on eating healthy and moderation changed since being a mom? That's a good question, Connor. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that it's changed since becoming a mom necessarily. I think that it is harder to, to eat in moderation and just overall stay on track because of how much lack of sleep impacts your hunger hormones. You know, I talked about this. I have a post on Instagram that's talked about ghrelin and leptin and how when you don't get enough sleep, it really impacts your, your hunger hormones and all that stuff. And so I think that I've definitely found myself giving in more because I'm just like craving yummy things because I'm so sleep deprived. But then other times I have to consciously remind myself like, you know, you're just feeling that way because of a lack of sleep. You don't truly need those things. Um, so yeah, I think overall, I just, I still try to find that balance of giving in sometimes because I don't want to be so robotic and like so extreme, but also not giving in all the time because then if I give in all the time, that's all I would eat. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. So um, yeah, harder to stay on track because of sleep for sure. <laughs> yeah. Last yesterday, what that was us. I didn't post about it on Instagram, but another like 4 a.m. waking until six and just yeah, struggle bus. So okay. Um, right here in the middle, as I mentioned, all the cheeses. So shredded cheese, usually for tacos. I have tacos a lot. And then this is um 
like hamburger slices. It's so cool, guys. Like I feel like I just discovered this. They're like round slices, so perfect for burgers. We have burgers pretty often. And then these are just traditional like slices. So, and as someone mentioned, oh my gosh, you guys, is that, is that annoying you? You can let me know. <laughs> if so, I'm going to have to figure out how to turn that off. Um, as someone mentioned in my like Italy days, I wasn't eating cheese. I wasn't eating dairy at all, really. And this is something that I have learned that from like early on, like even China days, when I first started learning how to eat healthy, it was just out there of like, oh, don't eat dairy. If you want to eat healthy, don't eat dairy, which like, that's not true. That's not right. And like, even through my IVF journey, my doctors, my reproductive endocrinologist, everyone, they're like, you need to be sure that you're eating like enough dairy and things like that. And again, I'm not plant-based, like I'm not vegan. If you are, that's a different story. If you know, you don't have to eat dairy for optimal health. Um, if you are trying to avoid it, but if you are okay eating it, then it is just a great source of full fats and things like that. So it is something that I have added back into my diet. So yeah. Oh, you don't, you guys don't hear it. Okay. Good. <laughs> great. Okay. Um, okay. So let me put, oh, the fridge turned off guys. That's the first time this has ever happened for me. It's like, okay, there we go. All right. Let me put the cheese back. Okay, let me get to some, is it weird that I like the jingle? Oh, good. I'm so happy to hear that. Um, okay, so the next item, which this is kind of like overflow, because I have all of our salad kits down here, and it was like packed full. I couldn't fit anymore, so I put them up top. Um, this is something new, very new, like I would say maybe two months new, that we discovered... <laughs> I don't know if that's like sad or what, but salad kits, we just never ate them before. I don't know. Um, and we love them so much. I've mentioned, I think a few times before that I, I do struggle to get to eat veggies. I mean, who, who loves eating veggies all the time? I don't know. I, I don't, I like a few, a few select ones like carrots and broccoli. I have a hard time branching outside of that. And so these have really helped me get in more greens. And I think it's so yummy. And of course, it's because there's the salad dressing, which honestly, guys, if you look at the back, if you look at the nutrition facts, these are so high in fats. These ones aren't that bad, I'm looking. But some of them, like this has 11 grams fat. Um, the Caesar one has like 50 grams that's, that's like almost my entire day in one salad bag. So that's where it can be tricky just because it's a salad bag. I'm not saying that it doesn't mean that it's healthy or unhealthy, but it can really jack up and mess up your macros if you aren't careful. So something that I do do with these salad bags is I will only use half of the dressing to kind of minimize on the fats, but, um, we will always add chicken to this. So I'll measure out like hundred grams. I'll cut it up heat that up and then just put it in with the rest of this literally takes me five minutes and it is a really great meal so yeah oh salad bags yeah i mean is anyone else like just discover them or do you always eat them i eat a lot more salad when i buy the kits yeah varying textures instead of just eating plain salad T completely agree like i of course, I do actually have some just spinach in here, but that's for smoothies. But just having that and chicken, like, wah, wah, you know, like it's not that exciting. So like, I like that these have like croutons and cheese and things like that. I will say, um, like the Caesar ones come with a little pack of Parmesan, like pre-shredded. But you guys, I'm married to an Italian. Like we have Parmesan, like real Parmesan all the time. So I don't use that and I shred fresh Parmesan. So that's a little, another thing that I do. So, okay, let me put these back. Then we have eggs, which like we eat constantly. Um, every day, but each me, Luca and Aurora, I eat two to three a day. Aurora eats two. And then Luca, I think he normally has like four. So we are always loaded up on eggs here. And then if you can see over here is like all of the meat. So chicken, actually a lot of you guys ask about this. 
So let me show you. Our chicken that we buy is pre-seasoned. It says lemon pepper. So it's really good. Like I, I actually now, because of this, I have a hard time eating just plain, plain chicken. <laughs> I used to be used to it, but now after eating this, it's like, it's so, so good. Underneath here, Luca has um, smoked salmon. I can't eat this. Like those of you who have been following me for a while know I'm not a huge fish eater. I wish I was. I know it's so good for you. Um, so I will eat Luca's like cooked salmon, but like smoked salmon like this is another level that I don't think I can get. So yeah, but this is for Luca. And then let me see if there's any questions. Where did we get the preseason chicken? It's from HEB, which is like a Texas, or I think it might be in the South. I'm not sure, but it's like from Texas grocery store. So outside of Texas and maybe some other states nearby. I don't think there's HEBs, but yeah, I mean, any seasoned chicken from any grocery store should be good. Oh, Fergie, yeah, this question, do you have problem with all the plastics? I love you so much. Oh, thank you. I get DMs. Anytime I share grocery stuff, I get DMs about all the plastic and 99% of the time they are European or outside the U.S., and it's just, we don't have an option to like get food, like not in, like this is just how the food comes, you know? I mean, maybe there's some places that you can get like in bulk or, but still you even put like veggies in the bags, you know? So like, of course we try to minimize it, but this is just how the groceries come in the grocery store. So I do get that question a lot in DM. So I wanted to answer it here. <laughs> um, okay. Down here is like all of our meal prepped food. So <clears throat> we have chicken, the seasoned chicken right here, green beans, um, sweet potato fries. This is Aurora's chicken nuggets. <laughs> and then some pasta, always, we always have meal prepped pasta. And then we have tortillas. Again, these are from HEB that are like freshly made. They're so, so good. I had worked out sometime, I think it was like a week ago or the week before. And I went to HEB to get groceries and I just opened up a pack and I was just eating in the grocery store because I had just worked out. I was so hungry and they were so good. Anyways, I love tortillas. Definitely a staple for me. Um, <clears throat> so true. It's difficult to avoid plastic here. Yeah. I mean... It, it is, it is hard. I think we can do our best like little bits here and there, but it's definitely like an overall much bigger, you know, issue with just how groceries come here. So do you buy the chicken organic? Um, uh, do, 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 do. Mm, it, I don't see it says organic. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Um, that's another thing that like, I used to be really, really, really like into on top of, but like, I do think it's good. I just don't think that I'm, it's as important as, you know, I once thought it was, I think it's good here and there, but it's not like every single little tiny thing needs to be organic, you know? What do you use for dressing and sauces? That's, uh, I'm almost there. All right. For anyone that's just now joining, I'm going to finish up going through my fridge and then I'm going to be announcing the giveaway winners for Vita Lura Labs, three month supply. So stay tuned. And it is for anyone in or outside the US. So I'm going to be picking from the comments here in just a bit. All right. Where are we at? Oh, I do have some bell peppers. That is like another veggie that I do like that I, you know, try to have around. Um, I, I do get questions a lot from other people that are like fellow picky eaters because I was a very picky eater. And that's something that prevented me from ever really starting to eat healthy. And um, it's really just about finding the few veggies that you like and stick into those, you know, and try to have some variety. But yeah. Um, yeah, organic chicken isn't very different than regular chicken. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. The drawers here, this is the rest of our veggies. So we have green beans, 
baby spinach for my Vitalera smoothies <laughs> and celery sticks and broccolini. I don't know about you guys, but I love broccolini. I like broccoli, but broccolini is so much better. That's just my take. All right. And then over here is more of the salad bags. I told you guys, we like love these and really, really stock up. So, all right. So that's it for the main part of the fridge. Now I'm going to get to the sides with the condiments. Do you recommend frozen veggies? Frozen veggies are great. Absolutely. I am just a bit of a texture person. So I prefer fresh veggies because I like them to be a bit crunchier and usually frozen, you know, you like steam them or, and they get soft. I mean, not, it's not that big of a deal, but I do opt for fresh usually, but frozen totally fine. Great. Nutritionally. Sometimes they even can be better because they freeze them at the optimal time of like freshness and nutrients. So yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm so glad you've loosened up a bit on the organic and more processed foods. Going all organic and non-processed is so expensive and just not realistic sometimes. Yeah, that's the truth. I mean, it's just more research is coming out that like, it's not that, that, that much better. I mean, I, and I only say that maybe it's not at all. Like I try not to, you know, say one way or the other, but ultimately just doing your best. And yeah, it can be really expensive. And where, where is that? Like, you know, the benefit really compared to the cost. So, all right, let me close this. So the light turns back on. Okay. All right. So for the condiments, um, mayonnaise, and we do have like real mayonnaise and primal kitchen mayonnaise. This is like another really good example of like, a healthier version versus like, you know, the normal version. And if you look at the macros on the back, they both are hundred calories. This one has 12 grams fat and this one has 11. So, you know, this one actually has more fat. And then, um, let me see what else that's actually it. So it's, there's a little bit of a calculation. I don't want to say error, but um, a little bit of a difference there because there's no carbs or protein in either of these. But I mean, it's literally the exact same macro wise. Um, maybe some people might respond better to certain ingredients here or here type thing. But yeah, you know, I have, I kind of alternate. I don't really have a preference. Sometimes I really like just regular mayo, you know? So, and again, you have like such a small amount. It's not like, you know, it's going to make that big of a difference in the grand scheme of things. So, Okay, let me set these here so I don't put them back in. The yeah, the avocado one is good. Yeah, I think that, you know, I think both are great. So um, relish, I love relish. Relish and pickles fan over here. I know some not don't love them. Truff sauce, if anyone has ever had this, let me know. It's so good. It is like, um, I'm not good with spicy things, but um, this is like a little spicy, but with, you know, like a truffle kind of, Spin really good. Mayo, Dijon, and more relish. Let's see here. What do you put your relish on? Oh, uh, hamburgers. Ham I we don't really eat hot dogs, so just hamburgers. Yep. But we really eat them pretty often, so we load up on relish. More ketchup. I got this one day, guys when I was like, you know, I want to put this on my pancakes and I used it like twice. Yesterday was one of those days. <laughs> so something that like is not traditionally like a healthy at all, but like, I think it's totally fine every once in a while. And yeah, a little bit in moderation. What do you use the truff with? Um, tacos sometimes. Um, what else did we used to use it on? I think burgers, mainly tacos and burgers. Oh, wait, no. Also in like a bowl, we would do like, um, like rice and ground beef and like broccoli and then, um, the trough sauce. So yeah, it can go on a lot of things. Okay. These little guys down here <clears throat> are some like, you know, those like wellness shots. <sighs> I started just having a few of them in here because for those of you that have kids, toddlers, they are like always sick or someone is getting sick. And so I've just 
wanted to have these just in case. Oh, truck pasta sauce. Oh, yeah. I actually saw that and we haven't tried it yet. Um, so we just have these around because Aurora will get a cold and then I'll get it and Luca will get it. And just, you know, trying to keep our immunity up. Where is Luca? I'm sorry, guys. I never mentioned Luca took Aurora to, we have her enrolled in this thing called Tinker Garden, which is like an outdoor exploring session for toddlers. And uh, so it's in our neighborhood and it's like with all of our friends and all their babies. So I normally take her because I'm a lot better. <laughs> I'm a lot better at letting Aurora explore and, um, you know, it, Luca has, you know, some work to do on letting her just kind of run free. So it's normally my job. Um, but for today, when we were trying to figure out timing, cause if Aurora was here guys, it would just be like nonstop chaos and I would barely be able to get one sentence in. So yeah. So he took her, um, out. <laughs> Um, kids are always sick. Yes. Like I pre baby, like I would get sick like once every five years and now it's been like once every two months and just how much that derails your workouts. You, I'm sure a lot of, you know, it is just like, I need to do everything I can. So focusing on eating whole natural fruits, veggies, great. But like also these little guys can't hurt. Right. Um, off topic, let's do a live Zoom workout. Oh, I'm so happy you enjoyed it. Yes, we can totally arrange that. Who goes to the grocery store the most? I would say Luca. We order online a bit, um, but I would, Luca, definitely, because he is the one who cooks the most. Um, and he's just always thinking about like, you know, ingredients and what we need and this and that. So um, it's like a 60-40 split though. I definitely go. It's just, he's, you know, a bit more in tune with grocery stuff. So, okay. This side, let me switch over here. Okay. Down here is rice milk. This is what I use for my oatmeal. And honestly, guys, I think this is something that like just stems from back when I used to like not eat any dairy and I wasn't drinking whole milk. Um, and so I'm no longer so focused on that, but I like it. Like I like coconut milk a lot. It's really like light. I prefer coconut milk to almond milk. Almond milk is a bit thicker. So yeah, by the way, <laughs> you guys have called me out on this before. I posted a story and I called this coconut milk and it's rice milk. The reason why I say coconut milk is because this same brand has coconut milk. And I used to buy just the coconut milk and now I can't find it. So that's why I'm kind of like forced to buy rice milk, but it has the same label. So like my brain is just stuck on saying coconut milk. So if you guys ever hear me say coconut milk, that is why it is rice milk. I feel like the texture and the taste is very similar. So that's why I never like notice. Um, what do you think about oat milk? I've actually never had it. I think it's fine. I think it's, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing that I've heard that's like not good or anything. I do think that a lot of times these new like milks or whatever come out and some people can try to like over attribute the benefits and say like, this is just like the one that you want to have. And like, no, that's not really true. Like definitely there's, you know, good aspects to it, but like it's not necessarily better than almond milk or cashew milk or rice milk, coconut milk, whole milk, you know, like it really just depends on your personal preference and like what your goals are. And if you're plant-based, then it could be a great option for you. But if you're not, it really is just a matter of personal preference. So Oatly is my favorite. It's so creamy for the coffee. Yeah. I've never tried it. I actually, I, I should try it just so I can have an opinion, but yeah. Okay. Um, whole milk. This is primarily for Aurora. Um, she won't really drink whole milk like in a cup. So we just put it like in her oatmeal and stuff like that. So yeah. Oh, love. Me. Oh, thank you, Sophie. <laughs> it is. This shirt is from Urban Outfitters and I just ordered it. So it should still be available. Yeah. Um, this is chicken broth. Luca makes tortellina, tor tortellini <laughs> pasta, um, probably once or twice a week. And so he uses this chicken broth. And actually you guys, it was really funny because Luca will make chicken broth homemade. Okay. 
like his mom would give him the recipe and this and that. Um, and then one day he saw that the store and he was like, I'm going to try that. And when he did, he was like, this is so much easier. He's like, I'm just going to buy this now instead of having to like make chicken broth from scratch, which is like a few hour long process. I mean, I think I don't make it. So don't quote me on that. <laughs> At least an hour. And so now he just buys that and it's great. So more cooking videos from Luca. I know. I tell him all the time, guys. My goal is to do, I would love to do like a cookbook with him one day. Like he just has so many amazing like nuggets of like Italian cooking that are just really awesome. So always working on it. Okay, up here is kind of our like overflow of condiments. I'm not going to pull them all out. So I'm just going to point to them. <clears throat> so we have barbecue sauce right here. Ranch. Mm, I love ranch. Uh, some more mustard, ketchup, some habanero sauce right here. Um, butter, more butter. <laughs> and then up here is like the things that have already been open that we have in baggies. So as I mentioned, the Parmesan cheese, and then some fresh onion that Luca was using for a recipe. And that's it, guys. That is, that is what is in my fridge. So if you have any questions, I'm going to get to some of the other comments, and then I'm going to announce the giveaway winner. So let me put these back really quick so I can close this and it can stop beeping at me. <laughs> All right. So let's see. <clears throat> Now that the protein is out, y'all need the cookbook. I know, I know. That's actually a really good point. We have been putting a lot on hold because pr the protein became like the priority of everything for like, you know, the last two years almost. So, all right. Okay. Let's see here. ETA on the pre-workout and the way. The way is actually really close. Um, I can, I'm just going to tell you guys, I was going to poll the community with this, but we have the option to start with unflavored way and then do the flavors after that. So like we're considering if we want to do that or not, but like it would be just for baking, like really, really just, it's not like a, you know, a way that you'd want to just like drink with water or something or in smoothies. So that's an option. Um, pre-workout also is they're kind of like on the same timeline, always kind of going like this. So early 2023 is the goal. I just need to wipe my hands because I have some ketchup. <laughs> One second, guys. Okay. So let me see. We have to show the cookbook comments to Luca. Yes. Like, I think if he sees how much people will be excited about it, he would, you know, get more excited about it himself. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's so many cookbook comments. Um, speaking on coconut milk, I use some with the chocolate gelato Vita Lure protein, and there's a flavor in there that almost tastes like mint chip ice cream. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love mint chip. I'm going to have to try that because that sounds amazing. Oh, you didn't know I had my own line? Yes. Okay. So let's talk about it for a minute, and then I'm going to do the giveaway winners. So we have um, vanilla gelato and chocolate gelato. I think that's reversed. Um, Plant-based protein. So as I mentioned on Instagram, but if some of you haven't seen it, we started with plant-based because the cost of whey has quadrupled in the last year alone. So it just like was not going to be affordable at all for you guys for like the quality of whey that we want to put out. So we start with plant-based for that reason. And this truly, you guys, if any of you have had plant-based, and many of you have, have that have already ordered it, hands down the best tasting plant-based protein that I've ever tried. Normally, plant-based is gritty and thick and kind of has like an earth taste, which like makes sense, right? It's plant-based. Whey is milk-based, so it's much creamier and lighter. Plant-based is a lot harder to get a really good taste. And this is like the chocolate gelato, especially for me, like I'm so obsessed with and I will drink it over whey. Like it's so good. So the taste, best plant-based. If you're comparing it whey to plant-based, that's not really apples to apples because it's a milk-based to a plant-based. But if you're comparing plant to plant, so freaking good. It is NSF certified 
What that means is that we put it through third-party testing to verify that what is on the label is in the product, which there's not really that regulation in the supplement industry, which is why a lot of people have a hard time trusting supplement companies. Um, so verifies the label is accurate. The amount of protein is accurate, you guys. And there are no heavy metals, no additives, no dangerous ingredients or anything like that. So first giveaway winner that I want to announce from the YouTube video, which thank you guys so much for all of your comments and your support. Roz Pinto is the winner from the last video. Yay! <laughs> so I'm going to comment on that. If she's not on here, I'll notify her. And then I'm going to pick three more winners to win a three-month supply. So let's get to some comments. Let me know if anyone has any questions. Oh, yeah, I'm, you're outside the U.S. We are working on it. It just requires so many more, like, cert certifications, like not from a quality standpoint, just from a bureaucracy standpoint and like getting approvals to sell like overseas and to get warehouses there and just all the like customs and fees and all that. So we're wanting to be sure that we can do it in a way that minimizes the cost to you guys. Um, so it just takes some time. Canada will be first because, you know, that's, I don't want to say it's the easiest, but you know, it is kind of the easiest to expand there first, and then we'll work on um, overseas. So, um, all right, guys. I love how you're doing three months and not just one. Yeah, of course. We were like, okay, we want this to be like a really great giveaway. And just say thank you guys for all of your support because we really were like, I don't know, this is so new for us, such a huge new venture. And, you know, you guys really blew us all out of the water with your support. So thank you guys. Um, I would love to know about the name. Where is it? Okay, it's on here. Vida Lura. So Vida in Italian means life. And Lura, I say it's a mix of Luca and Aurora. But if you ask Luca, he when I told him that, he was like, Vida Vit Alura is a mix of Anna Luca Aurora. So I think it depends on who you ask, but it really is an ode to just like our family and yeah, and a bit of like an Italian influence in there. So, all right, guys. Okay, let's see here. Um, For the giveaway, I'm trying to think. <clears throat> I want you guys to comment. Um, I'm trying to make it, you know, something substantial, but like not too difficult. Um, hmm. What do you guys think? Any ideas? I guess I could just say, I don't want it to be just like what flavor you would choose. Or we could just do that. Let's, we'll just do that. Just to keep it easy. I'm trying to think of something creative. Um, so if you would want, and also where you're located, um, the, and we are going to pick some people from outside the U S cause I really want to be able to like give you guys that chance. So, um, if you want chocolate or vanilla and why, there we go. That's the, the extra little spin. And if you want it for like smoothies or if you just drink it, you know, like straight type thing and yeah, where you're located, let me know. And I'm going to pick a few of you. And I'll give you guys a few minutes to comment and then I'll pick. Let me go back to some of the comments from when I was doing the um, the kitchen, the fridge thing. Okay, let me move my laptop so I can sit down. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me. I know it's Sunday. I never know if like weekends are good for you guys anymore because I feel like, I don't know, for me, I know that I, weekends are like usually really packed. So I'm excited so many of you are joining. Um, when you use dressings like ranch, how much do you usually use? I would say I use like one serving. So I do look at the back and I see what the serving is in grams. And I do measure it. Not all the time. Like I will for like a few times so I can get a good idea of, you know, what a serving size is. Um, and I only do that with condiments that have substantial macros. So the, the condiments that are like oil based or high in fats, for example, ketchup has like nothing, like almost no, almost no calories. So I don't track that relish. I know has almost nothing. Mustard has almost nothing. So I really only track the like mayos or 
any of the oil based um, condiments. So I want to point that out because I think that when people think about tracking all the sauces and this and that, it can get really overwhelming, right? Like really add up all the things that you need to track, but you don't really just look at the back. And if you see something that has like, you know, a lot of fats or carbs, I don't think any condiment has a lot of protein. <laughs> um, you just have to track those. So yeah. Um, all right. Let me see if there's anything else. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Iris. My hair. I feel like actually needing to wash it soon. <laughs> um, okay. Let me get to one more. Oh, yeah. Where is Luca? Oh, yeah. Leah. <laughs> He'll be back. Actually, they're going to be done in like 10 minutes. So I'm going to wrap up here in just a few. Have you ever replaced mayo with Greek yogurt like in tuna salad or egg salad? Blew my mind. You know what? I haven't. I used to um, use Greek yogurt in place of, I did one, I used to have like an OG recipe in the FBG meal plan guide. And it was like spiralized zucchini noodles, which Luca like hated. <laughs> he was like, what are you doing? That is not pasta. I liked it. I thought it was good. And I did have a recipe that had Greek yogurt instead. And it was really, really good. So yeah. Okay. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, I want to pick all of you. I have such a hard time always with giveaways because I'm just like, oh, I want to pick everyone. Okay, okay. All right, guys. Cool. I'm just going to like scroll and point because I can't, I can't like, I just want to say yes to everyone. All right. First winner is Danielle McConnell, chocolate gelato for sure. Chocolate in a healthy way. And you're in Madrid, Spain. Yay. Okay. Someone from overseas. So Danielle, for those of you that are going to win, I am going to comment back to you once we're done with the email to reach out to us. I'll tell you now, but just in case, you know, you don't get to write it down, support at vitaluralabs.com. Okay. Next winner. Oh, Danielle. Yay. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, Samantha Jones, vanilla. I have not been able to find a good vanilla flavor for my shakes. Love blending with frozen strawberries and almond milk. Yay, Samantha. Okay, one more, you guys. I want to pick all of you. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, I got to go faster. Okay. Stephanie G, chocolate gelato sounds like heaven. Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. All right. Those are our three winners. We're going to be doing more giveaways. So like if you didn't win, of course, I always feel so bad because I just want to pick everyone. Um, there will be more. And so support at vitaluralabs.com. I'm going to go back and comment to each of you um, in case you don't write it down. Let me see. Yay. Oh, you guys are so sweet saying congrats. Oh, um, all right. I can hang out for a few more minutes and answer any questions in chat before we sign off. You guys, like I said, this was my first YouTube live and it was so amazing. You guys are so great. Um, I do want to mention a few other things about the protein until October 31st. You will get when you buy Vita Lura, there's a shop below once I'm not sure if it's there now, but once I end this, there will be a link to the shop. Um, you will, when you buy Vita Lura, you get a free protein, uh, plant-based protein guide that is worth $24.99. So that's completely free until October 31st. After that, that promo does go away. So um, you also get, let me show you one of these clip bag clip things so that you can, you know, seal it. And that comes free as well. Actually, I love how much you girls are loving those. It was like something that we added last minute. And I get so many DMs of like, this clip is so amazing. So <laughs> we're so happy to hear that. Oh, yay, Stephanie. Oh, Samantha. Oh, it was nice to spend time with you guys too in Vitoria. We are going to work on that Zoom live. Maybe we can do like an, a YouTube live workout like that. Let me know. Zoom or YouTube live. I'll have to think about it and I'll let you guys know. Where is the protein made in the US? It says on the back, Italian inspired American made. <laughs> okay. 
Um, all right, guys. Thank you for the clips, <laughs> Amanda and Jace. So happy you like it. If you guys have any questions after this, feel free to comment them below. I'll go back through comments. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Really, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you and your time and getting to chat. I hope to do this more often. Um, I'm going to get ready for Aurora and Luca to get back. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great Sunday. Bye, guys. <laughs>